Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we are not working in the workshop in here. We are actually going to be working outside on uh, Diggers' car or Diggers' wife's car. Uh, I don't know Diggers' wife's name, so I can't say her name, but it's his, so it's his wife's car. We're going to start that Eco Sport for her. Um, and we need to be working outside because it doesn't drive at the minute. Um, and that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So, yeah, hopefully um, we're going to get it back on, the, you know, on, the, on, the, on its wheels and we can get it driving around and we can move it inside because it has to be stripped down. We've got to take the bumper off. We've got to get, get, find out if there's any damage behind the bumper, sort of do some other bits and pieces, but we need to get it driving. So let's get out there. Let's get on with it. Let's do this. So yeah, let's uh, let's get outside, have a quick look at it. I'll show you what I've got so far, but we do need to go off and get some bits from Gala's. I have ordered it um, from them, um, but the trouble is I've done one of these Eco Sports before. Let me just grab the key, because I forgot that. <clears throat> I grabbed one of those Eco Sports. Um, I've done one of these Eco Sports before, a white one, and I had problems with the suspension leg replacing it um, and getting the right the match, getting the right thing. So this time, I'm not going to take any chances, and we're going to take it off the whole leg, take it down to Gala's, and get them to match perfectly, side by side, the right one. Um, yeah, just to make sure we're getting the right one, guys. But let me show you what I've got. So we have got another wheel in really, really good condition. There's like a little, that's not even a scuffle, it's just a bit of dirt. So yeah, and we've got a Bridgestone um tire to go on it as well which has got a superb tread look at that look it's like a new, new tire so yeah picked a great one there so that's what we use for the front um and like i said Charles, we need to go over to gala's um and continue uh with this has this got Hmm. It's got electric folding, is it? Let's have a quick look at this quickly. Oh, I must have done that. I thought it had electric folding mirrors, but it hasn't. So yeah, we need to get this a driving, get it back on its wheels, um, so we can move it, uh, move it about a little bit. Um, so yeah, normal stuff though, guys. I got to be honest, it's just yeah, it is what it is. But I want to see, I want to get it in the workshop, so we can really sort of take this apart, get it up on the ramp, get this bumper off, find out what's going on behind there, see if there's any damage, what you know, make a list, see what we need to order, parts, what's missing. Um, and bits and pieces like that. So let's get set up. Um, <laughs> I'll get you set up out here, and let's just start getting this. Yeah, getting this, getting this wheel off, and getting this this corner sorted. So let's crack on, guys. Let's do this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Right, okay, so guys, there we go. Bits everywhere. <laughs> it's all been stripped down, taking it all off, um, <clears throat> and we're replacing quite a lot of this. Not everything, because, you know, we're not going to... I'm not going to... Luckily, I don't have to replace the drive shaft. Um, that was one of the um, things I did speak to um, Mark about. And uh, I said, I don't know about the drive shaft at the minute, but it looks like he's got away with it. It looks pretty good. I can't see, it, you know, unless once we get it back on the road and it drives and it feels really funny, then maybe because um, <clears throat> we don't want to go and replacing it yet. It's a lot of work to replace that. You've got to drain off all the, all the gearbox oil. At, at this point, it will be easy because I can just drain the, the gearbox oil and replace the dry shaft. But there's no point in replacing things that don't need to be replaced, like the actual um, caliper um, and the brake pads. I want to try and keep the caliper, the brake pads, and the disc original. So, and the reason for that is because it matches the other side. As soon as you start changing, um, you can't just change one side. You've got to change both sides together as a pair. So, I'm going to try and keep that as well if we can. Um, if it's buckled and twisted, then it's definitely got to be changed. Um, but let's just see how we get on with that. Obviously, we've got the suspension leg. Uh, that's got to go and pick it up from Gala's. So we'll go and grab that. It come, actually comes with the knuckle as well. So it comes as a, as a kit. Um, it's no, Again, there's no point risking uh, it having a little twist in its knuckle or anything like that. It, it's just, you know, it comes as a, a kit, a set, and it comes as a, a thing. Sorry, guys, helicopter. I don't know if that's police or... Sure. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it comes as a set. So we're going to go up at Gala's, grab that leg, um, grab this inner wheel arch as well because it's busted and, and, and it's broken at the bottom there. Uh, so we'll grab another one of them uh, as well. So yeah, uh, what else from Gala's? I think that's it. Everything else has got to come from the uh, parts uh, shop. So we've got a track rod that goes in there. So that's got to be changed. The end's got to be changed as well, track rod end. So we've got an end track rod and the end coming up. Uh, new uh, lower control arm. Definitely got a twist in that. Look how, look how twisted that is, look. It's not even sitting flat to the floor. Well, that should be sitting flat. Um, got a drop link coming as well. Because, again, you know, it's not worth the risk. It's pretty loose in there. That shouldn't be that loose. So I'm assuming that it's busted the actual um, both sides. It's just too loose and that'll be just banging around. Like when you're driving, it'll go up and down and bang, 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 bang. And you're, you're so yeah, we've got a new one of them coming as well. So yeah, we are definitely getting there. Um, I'll go off and grab the, uh, the suspension leg from Gala's um, and the parts are gonna be a little bit later on. So I don't know. <sighs> Well, I do know we need to crack on and get this bumper and get this 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 kind of side of it off as well. So we have got bits and pieces to do. Um, I want to get that front end stripped down as well, get the lights off, get the bumper off, start taking that off so we can do that whilst we wait for the parts to turn up for this. But he reckons he ain't going to get it to me until about two o'clock. So, yeah... We've got to get on with other stuff. I don't think any of the actual subframe has been damaged either, so that's good. I think he's got away with this. Got away with quite a lot of this, so that's good. So, yeah. Right, let's go over, get the leg from Gala's, come back, and then I'll set you up and we'll get cracking with the front end. Lights, bumper, get all that stripped down and just do as much as we can until we wait for the other, um, yeah, parts to turn up from the parts place so let's do this
Right, okay, so guys, a lot of stripping done on this one on the front end. Lights are off, bumpers out the way. Um, I've got, I've come, just come back from Gala's as well. Picked up the um, the new, uh, well, second-hand shock um, and hub to go with it as well. So I know that that's not going to be uh, buckled and twisted. The old ones here, so that can go. Um, I'm still waiting for parts like the lower control arm. Still waiting for. Um, all those bits to turn up. Still waiting for a new one of these to turn up. Um, so, you know, but it is what it is. Just got to wait. If I wanted to, I could go and get the parts right now, but it means, you know, coming away from the workshop and I can be doing something else whilst they're bringing them to me. So it just makes sense to stay, hang around and, um, yeah, wait for them to turn up. But um, I'm looking around, you know, behind the bumper and there is no damage. He's got, he's got so, so lucky with this one. Um, there is no damage. I think that goes like that. Yeah. That sits on like that. Um, there's no damage to this front end. So it's incredible. It's incredible, like, that he got away with this. So, yeah, great news um, that he doesn't have to replace anything on the front end like that. Um, headlights can go back in as well because that ain't going to stop me from putting them in. Um let me show you i have removed the wheel the alloy from the actual tire because i wanted to try and get the the um tps uh monitor but you can see it's absolutely smashed so there's no way we're gonna be able to use that um and i don't know if the other one's got one in it the, the new the new wheel i've got so we might have to get another one or check to see if there's, there's one in there I'll, I'll speak to um I'll speak to Mark and see what he wants to do, diggers. Um, yeah, it just they just might have one inside there. I don't know, but we'll have to sort of get a computer on it, see if we can re re reprogram it or whatever. Um, but yeah, let me show you the bumper. Um, so this is obviously the condition of it. It has got some marks underneath there. You can see it's all scuffed there, here. You know, all across the bumper, it's got some marks. And this has got a little chunk out of the plastic here. We've got a crack in it, in it there. You can see that again, because there's a crack in the bumper there. Um, this is all buckled as well here. And it's just, yeah, it's not, it's not great, I've got to be honest. Um, all those kind of things are repairable and paintable. The thing is, the one thing that ain't repairable um is let me show you just want to stick it on these just want to stick it on the mats just in case we're going to use anything uh the one thing that's not repairable guys is this that is the obviously the it was the uh, passenger side where where the damage was um and yeah, they, they just they just will not. That just will not stay where it is. Um, I've tried before. I've tried to uh, you know get some uh, you know some of those um, plastic weld um, uh, metal clips staples, hot staples. I've tried. I've tried everything. It it just it's just once that's gone, it is just such impossible to sort of hold it in place. Um, I will speak to Mark and see what he wants to do. But I'm, I'm expecting him to say, let's let's change the bumper, um, the bumper skin. Because obviously we can use the lights. We've got a, a light cover missing on that spotlight, so we're going to have to get a cover for that. But that's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I think we have to try and get a new skin. I've, tr I've I found the right, the correct one for this year and car and model. Um, and the skin's like 160 quid. So it's not a lot of money, really, 160 quid for this, this type of year car. But it's just, um, it's just annoying that um, <laughs> we can't, yeah, it's annoying that we can't um, use this one. But I just think it's, it's just, it's just too far gone, I've got to be honest. Like, it's just, see, the, like this, it's like causing, like, problems. It's just buckled and, yeah, it's not sitting right. So... But I think all these inner trims, I think they're still okay. We can take them all off. 
and you know use as much as we can like that's busted there as well you can see like that that's there so i'm never going to be able to get a fix there and i take i have to pop that off and connect it somehow screw it i'll speak to diggers and see what he wants to do um but yeah it's a shame we can't use it but it's just one of them things um right okay let's carry on for the moment um let's get the headlights on uh, get that in, get that sorted out get this wheel back on that side because we can do that um get the uh we can probably get the suspension leg in place as well it is so hot out there it's like middle of the day now um yeah it is really hot out there. i don't like standing in the sun i've got to be honest it ain't, it ain't the nicest thing to work in is it the sun it's horrible so um yeah um i'll just have to see how i go today uh, i just heard on the news as well guys that england women's england team have made it through to the world cup final which is amazing they they beat um australia 3-1 so yeah great great news for the football that'll be on the finals on a Sunday, so that'd be nice to watch. I'm off Sunday, so I can watch that. Uh, anyway, let's get cracking with the car. Let's do this. we <laughs> 
Right, okay, guys, made some really good progress on this. Um, most of that is back together. The only thing I'm missing is the um, the tire rod. I've got the end, just need the rod, the first bit that goes in. Um, it's been so hot, I put an umbrella on the skip to give me some shade. <laughs> so, but yeah, anyway, it's... Uh, it's looking a lot, lot better. Um, I, I, at first, I was thinking, do you know what? That looks at an angle. But going to the other side, it is supposed to sit like that. So that's definitely straight now. Um, and obviously, you know, I've done the, 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 the lower control arm, done the drop link. Um, everything's been put back together. Original discs and pads to match the other side. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm just waiting for one thing, which is this. The new one. Got the new end. But, um, yeah, they haven't got the new um, the track rod. Uh, and I've had to put a new clip on there. That's what I was using a grinder for. So you have to grind these down. And then once you've put it in place, you just crimp that up right tight. And it pulls it tight. And it has to, that has to go in, obviously, first. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I did put it up against each other. There is, there is definitely, there's definitely, a, there's definitely a kink in that. It's definitely kinking up. So it had to be done. We had to change it. We had to change the leg. We had to change the drop leak. Um, and obviously the tie rod and rod end. Uh, lights are back in place. So they're done. They're back on. Took most of the trims off the bumper on the inside. I'll quickly show you. Uh, you saw, well, you saw what I was doing. But most of the bits and pieces have been taken off. Um, and I've got to be honest with you. I think a lot of it's savable. There's only one thing that I saw that what I'm, what I'm not sure about, and I'll speak to Mark to see whether or not he wants to go down the route of replacing these plastic bits or not. Um, they're just a little bit scuffy, um, which is the lower part of the bumper anyway. They're supposed to take up that scuff, but I just don't know how. Yeah, I, personally, I would just put that back on if it was mine because um, it's part of the underneath of the bumper and it's supposed to be scuffy. It's supposed to, that's how... You know, it's not, you don't buy them scuffy, it's brand new, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> they're supposed to, you know, go over curbs and sort of sort of take up this sort of the bit. It's not that bad, um, but I will speak to Mark and see what he wants to do. Um, but I definitely think this bumper's had it. I, I, it's just, I think it's too far gone. So it looks like we're going to have to get, get another bumper um, and get and, and swap it over. It's just, it's just too much. I think, it's you know, we, that's that's got to be right. You know, that's got to be right. I, I do try and repair things as much as I can uh, on my own stuff and other people's stuff, but it, it comes to a point where you go, do you know what? It's got. We've got to change it. It just, it will just look so much better if we change it and swap it out. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, yeah, can't finish it off completely. Still waiting for one little bit to turn up from the parts department. Um, I am going to stick around and this this t today and see if um, when they turn up, they they said they're going to turn up today. Fingers crossed they do, um, and I could just put it on, put the wheel on, drop it on the floor, and then that's it. It's drivable. We can I can move it about, um, and we've just then got to sort out you know the rest. I did have a, I don't know if you noticed it earlier, I did have a little knock up on that, bu that bonnet as well, which has come out really well. Let me just put it down. So I'm looking at this line here. That I'm not really worried about. We're going to rather, I'm going to take that back a little bit with the grinder and then pull it out. Um, so we're going to have a go at that and getting that pulled out as much as we can. And then the body shop and the paint shop is going to sort the rest out. Um, but it's that line there, which is, pretty good now i've got to be honest it's maybe wants a little bit more tapping out um but yeah it's uh it's definitely it's definitely savable that bonnet so we ain't got to go down a route of replacing that uh, i knocked the wing out as well here that was that just knocked it from the other side and that's come out really well i think we just need a little bit more attention to that and maybe get the painter just to give it a little skim of filler um but again 
that's that, that, that's savable as well, the wing. But um, yeah, frustrating that I they haven't got that part because that's the only thing that I'm waiting on there. Um, and then we've got to get the tracking done as well. Once it's all done, get the tracking done on, on, for the for the for suspension as well. We don't really know what the position that is because it was because it was busted off. Normally you can turn, you can undo them, can't you? You can undo these, and how many turns you undo it, you put a new one on with the same amount of turns. But I can't even get that off, so that ain't happening. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Part one. That's done, complete. Like I said, I'm going to stick around and see um, if I can get this done tonight for him. Get it back on the on the ground. If not, I'll have to come in here tomorrow um, and crack on, get that done first, and then we're going to jump on something else tomorrow. So there we go. Right. So, guys, that is part one completed. Um, Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, and I'll see you soon.